Top down view of the neodymium iron boron, 2 inch by 1 inch against a 27 inch cathode ray tube with uh, forward looking infrared. Dielectricity is being shot into the uh, inertial plane, increasing capacitance, and thereby result in increase in magnetic uh, radiation dissipation, increase in heat at the centrifugal. Okay, this is not heat reflection. You can see the increased capacitance flickering like a flame inside the neodymium as it's dissipating through the top to prove it's not heat reflection. There we go. Reset the image on the forward looking infrared. That heat is being generated by dielectric capacitance increase as being shot out of the back of the CRT tube and absorbed along the dielectric inertial plane of the neodymium iron boron and it's exiting the uh, either facet of a polarized face. Top down view of the 2 inch by 1 inch thick uh, N48 Gauss neodymium against 27 inch CRT tube using forward looking infrared. You can see the heat being dissipated since magnetism is radiation along the centrifugal. It's entering the dielectric inertial plane from the CRT tube and being dissipated. And you can see it undulating in dissipation. First time in. Test 3 against the CRT tube. Neodymium has not been touched in a very long time. You can see the uh, undulating flame like heat being created inside the uh, neodymium as the dielectricity is uh, amping up the capacitance inside the neodymium from the CRT tube. No one's ever seen this effect before, ever. This, this is forward looking infrared view on a 27 inch CRT cathode ray. Okay, this is with the neodymium vertical. To, and this is me in the background obviously, but to prove that this flame, uh, this, uh, this heat, I'm just moving the phone rather than my body. And I'm bringing the phone back and obviously this is me, but obviously I'm not generating that reflection. Watch me reset it, and then I'll move out of the way, but keep the camera in line with where the heat is being generated in the neodymium.